Hi, I'm John Pritchard with Venture Medical, and today we're going to be talking about the Steris AMSCO 3080 series operating table. Now, this is a multi specialty surgery table. You can do most any procedure on it um, with the optional accessories um, or packages that you can get with it. Um, it has the radiolucent top, um, which is great. You can see arm through it. Um, uh, it also uh, has the accessory side rail, the North American accessory side rail, um, which will fit most any. Uh, accessory that you need Clark sockets, stirrups, anesthesia screen, you name it, um, it'll fit on this table. Um, this is the, the headrest of the table. Um, very simple to operate. Um, there's a handle uh, on the right hand side here, my right hand side. Um, you simply grasp it, pull it, and you can actually put it to any degree you want. There's also two wing nuts underneath. You can unscrew these wing nuts and you can actually pull the headrest completely off the table, put it on the other end, um, or if you want to attach a, a different accessory to this end, uh, you can do that. The table also has a kidney lift. This is the kidney lift right here. Um, and in order to operate the kidney lift, um, you simply take this, which is, amounts to a socket wrench, and you pull this down, and then you actually crank it like a normal socket wrench, and this will actually raise the kidney lift up. Reverse it just like a socket wrench and it cranks it back down. When you're done, uh, it stores nicely underneath and out of the way just by doing that. Um, this is the hand control. Right now the table is unlocked um, because it's blinking red on the unlock button. Um, you want to uh, make sure that before you do any procedure or try anything with this table, you put it in the position that you want it in uh, as far as you know on the floor and then you want to lock the table. You always want the feet to be locked down before trying to use this table. The tip hazard is greatly increased whenever you don't have the feet locked. Now there are safety mechanisms in place that will not allow you to use the hand control when the locks are not locked. Although there are auxiliary switches on the side where you can use them, um, but it is uh, absolutely prohibited that you try to position a patient on this table without the floor locks locked in place. Um, let me show you a couple of the, the safety um, features or the emergency features of this table. Um, right now it's unlocked. Um, as you can see, it's blinking red there. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to spin this table around and show you the other side. Now the other side of the table has a couple of features. Um, one is the auxiliary switches that you'll see right here. It's got trim, height, side tilt, back and leg. And this is only to be used in emergency when the hand control fails for some reason. You drop the hand control and it breaks. The hand control just quits working for whatever reason. You can still operate the table from these switches, okay? So that's very important in case of an emergency so you can get through the case and then call Biomed or whatever to, uh, to get them to take a look at the table. Now this is the, um, this is the manual foot lamp. And with the manual foot, and I can't do it now because this table is, is working perfect, so it won't actually work. Um, as if it was an emergency situation. But with the manual foot pump, um, what you would do in that case, say power goes out, batteries are dead, everything's gone wrong, you can still actuate one of these buttons, say you wanted to do back down, okay? You would actually click the back down button down, and then you would pump this, and this would actually manually let the back down. You can do that with any of the functions here on the auxiliary control to get the patient down, back down to the level where you can transfer to the stretcher and, and get them out of, out of the OR. Um, also, uh, same thing, in, in this well uh, within where the manual foot pump is, um, there's actually uh, a switch in here um, that will control the locks as well. Um, so if the hand control uh, stops working and you need to unlock the table um, for any reason or lock it, um, you can literally just put your fingers in here and you can go ahead and lock or unlock the table with this manual switch. It's a little bit hidden, um, so uh, you need to make sure that you're aware that that is in there. This on the front is where the, uh, where the cord plugs in for the, the 120 volt power um, to charge the batteries or, or work the table. Um, <clears throat> the rule of thumb on, on these tables is that, um, you know, being in its battery operated, you don't need... Uh, to have this trip hazard in your OR. You can, you can charge this table overnight and it will have plenty of battery, plenty of time to do any procedures you need to do during the day, then charge it again at night when procedures are over with. And that way you don't have this cord hanging across your OR and, and, and providing a trip hazard uh, for the surgeons and staff um, in your OR. 
So let me spin the table back around real quick here, and we'll go back over the uh, functions of the fan control. As you can see, this is a 1,000-pound table. Uh, 1,000 pounds is what the table actually weighs, a little over 900, actually. And it's, uh, it's very easy to move around. Um, so first thing we're going to do, now we come into the OR, we click the on button. Okay? Um, we want to make sure of one thing right away. If the table is plugged in, we want to make sure that this button right here, or excuse me, this light right here where this, uh, the illustration of the plug is, is green. Because this tells us that the table is recognizing that it has line power and it's charging the batteries. This light here, blinking red, means that the batteries are low at this point. Now, we just refurbished this table. It just came into the showroom, and the batteries haven't been charged yet, so that's why it's doing that. But you want to make sure that the line power is green when it is plugged into the wall. That tells you that the uh, circuitry is working correctly for the battery charger and that they are charging the batteries. Now, you also see that the unlock button is blinking, so we need to lock this table in place. So in an OR, we would put this table exactly how we wanted it, and, and then we would lock it down. So we're going to press floor lock, and then we're going to press the lock button. And you hear that it's actuating now, the motor's actuating, the feet are coming down, and it's locked. And then you know it's locked because the green light comes on on the lock button. We're in normal orientation. We'll get to that later, but right now we're in the normal orientation where the head is here and the legs are here. Okay? Um, and then everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You got trend, and you got tilt, and you've got back down, and you've got leg up, okay, and you've got flex, okay. Then uh, you can level the entire table by pressing the level button, and the mercury switches will take over, and they will level the table completely. Now you have a level table. So that's uh, just a quick overview of the 3080 series table, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.